For many years, I was part of a profession notorious for breaking bodies down. It led me to find foundation training where I fixed my own injuries and began teaching others how they can do the same. I've decided to go on the road to gather stories of resilience and overcoming the odds, reminding us all that we're on a road to wellness. All right, guys, we just got to the busiest firehouse in LA. We're linking up with Evan Halquist, one of our core educators. 10 years ago, I suffered a back injury, pretty bad. Doctor told me, you need surgery, you should stop being a firefighter. Luckily, I found foundation in the original book. Eventually, I fully recovered from it. And from there is what really drove my passion for other firefighters. What's up, Jesse? <laughs> got to see this fire engine for you to ride along in. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah, man. Good to see you too, brother. I don't think I can fit in there, man. No, I think you can. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to show you the rigs. Go around the front, go to my side where I'm driving. All right, I'll turn the lights on for you guys. Let's see, it lights it up. Come over here. This one's 150 feet, and this one's 300 feet. You leave it up to the firefighter. So when they see what they have, what's on fire, that dictates what they pull. Enough, enough hose to get in the house, all through it, and get to where the fire is. So the first thing we have is our bunker gear, right? So we have the bottoms, and we have the top bunker gear, and in the top on your jacket right here, turnout jacket, you may have, you know, pliers, screwdrivers, your mask, your flashlight. So that adds to the weight of this. So with your bunkers and your helmet on, you're probably adding another 30 pounds to it. Your breathing apparatus. Depending on what style you have, it's probably another 30, 40 pounds. So you know, your axe is going to be another 8, 10 pounds. So that's going to be 270, 280 pounds. So you got to make sure you move right to feel well. Now, this is one of the biggest things I want to hit on for you guys paying attention. When we talk about doing foundation training, and we talk about just our body alone with the force of gravity and poor posture, dumping into areas that aren't meant to bear the load and leading to chronic pain. Imagine now, when this is for you firefighters, you're putting all this stuff on and what it's doing to your body if you're not absorbing force correctly. All right, these guys just got done traveling. Why don't we put you through a workout? It's going to be real basic. We're just going to do a founder, eight-point plank. So we're holding this position nice and strong, inner or outer anchor. It's your choice right now. Try to fire those lats with those elbows firmly pressing into the ground. Slowly go out of it. And that's the workout for today. I hope you enjoyed. We've talked a lot about kettlebells and the value of them for performance training. Evan is an aficionado, been to many <laughs> courses. Give us some tips. Learn how to breathe and brace, pick up a kettlebell and carry it. Learn how to deadlift it. You deadlift it, then you can learn how to swing it. Then once you learn how to swing it, you can learn how to press it. And then the list goes on from there. Take it slow, because anything when you take it slow can become hard. A little reading here from Dr. McCullough. Ketogenic diet basically means you're getting your body into the state of ketosis, hence keto. Your body's running on fats for fuel, and converting them into ketones. I eat less, I function better, I feel like I've got a lot more mental clarity. When I'm being super active, I cannot stay with it. I always find I, I start to go the other way on the health spectrum. We're in Santa Monica, We're going for a surf with Patty Sheaf. She's one of our longtime foundation training ambassadors. Been an athlete all my life, you know, and, and got a lot of injuries. I've got, uh, had scoliosis since when I was a kid. But through years of skydiving, snowboarding, compression, uh, I have just trashed my back. There's lots of opiates to control the pain until I, f until I got Doc Goodman's book, got into a founder, Whoa! changed my life forever. and then all of a sudden stung right in the foot through my defense. I don't know if you can see it. It's starting to swell up, a little bit of blood. So we're gonna go check out the lifeguard and see what they can kind of do to help. So we came to get treated for the stingray and 
Nobody's home. It's at Lakema Heart, the city and county of Honolulu. Ocean safety. What to do if you're stung by a stingray? Flush the wound out with hot water. Um, it can take anywhere from a matter of minutes to a matter of hours to help that subside. If the barb is still stuck in the wound, uh, you want to immobilize that with either a towel or a t-shirt or with gauze from a lifeguard. Uh, you don't want to attempt to remove it on your own and seek immediate medical attention. We're leaving Santa Monica here shortly, but before we go, I've got to introduce you guys to my buddy Josh Holland. I'm known as a fitness trainer. I guess you could call me a celebrity fitness trainer. I'm a health coach, um, a biohacker, movement specialist. At the end of the day, I'm kind of known as like a holistic trainer. I like to kind of bring everything in from the movement to the psychological to everything in between. Ah. Josh has got some uh, yeah. proscriptions for us, some methylene blue. The thing I love is how Let's many people blue. are resistant when they hear that it's got nicotine in it. Yep. And all this stuff that I'm reading now about Ooh, the health can... benefits of nicotine. Nicotine is known as a nootropic. A nootropic is any agent, influence, or lifestyle which optimizes learning, memory, focus, and or other cognitive functions while also being non-toxic and neuroprotective. The negative connotations that come along with it is when people smoke it, like uh, in tobacco or with cigarettes. And so all the other carcinogens and the byproducts of smoking cigarettes is actually what makes it bad. But this has a very, very small amount of nicotine, which is a nootropic. It has a small amount of caffeine and has a little bit of uh, hemp crystals or CBD to kind of balance everything out. And then the methylene blue is what it's what's in the real magic. Since Jesse's here to kind of take me through some things, I want to be lit on up. It, on yeah. it. Let's yeah. get lit. This video, which was focusing on scoliosis, because they both have scoliosis of the spine. So we're going to start on our back with a supine decompression. Unlock the knees just enough that you can let the inner thighs touch and hug together. Feel that pull up and away from the tractioning of the pelvis. Big, expansive decompression breath. Hips and hands reach away. Back up. Awesome work, you guys. Now it's Josh's turn. We're gonna chew on this, man. So we got the we got the slack block, the X3 bar, which is great for strength. The inertia wave duo. We'll do it with partner just so you can see that sweat. I like to give different stimuluses here. <laughs> Good. Eight, let's go to 30. 29. And 30. Relax. Good. Now, yeah, you're gonna feel that. You wanna hear that wave? Work. One, two, nine, ten. Whoa, bro. I wanted to quit. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate you pushing me, bro. Hope you guys enjoy it. Look him up. Josh got a ton of great stuff. Woo. Thank you for having me, guys. I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. If you want to try the workout or watch the full interview, click the links. You can find all of our guests in the descriptions below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.